Hi everyone, it's Jackie. Welcome to the Spare Room Studio. I'm going to give you a quick look today at how my room is coming along and just show you what the space looks like. I've been asked if I would do a tour. So that's very quickly um, a look around the room and then I'll just explain a little bit more. Hopefully I won't make you too dizzy because I do have to hold this um, in my hand and uh, I don't really want to make anybody sick. Okay, so let's go around to the beginning. So as you come in the room, we have a day bed here on the uh, left hand side here. It's actually on the right hand side as you come in. But I have a chest of drawers there and I'm currently storing uh, coloured pencils, water-based markers, permanent markers and so on. I bought myself a new plant to christen the room. You can see on the wall there, that is one of my original artworks. And I haven't got the wall sorted yet, but um, I'll give you a quick look. That's a coloured pencil piece that I did a few years back, quite a few years back now. And I've just got to be careful here because I don't want to show myself in the mirror. I'm a bit scruffy today. So on the mantelpiece, this um, um, was how the mantelpiece looked when we moved into the house. Part of the grate is missing and there is something that needs to be done at the back of the fireplace. And this old mirror has got a bit of damage and I don't particularly like the etching on there. I'd like to remove that if I could, but we'll see how that goes. It might be glued to the wall, but when we come to decorate, we're going to have a look at that. So I have an old photograph of my family there. I've usually got some sort of candle or um, essential oil in the diffuser going. That's currently just a light that's in the diffuser there. Next to the fireplace, that basket there is holding all my current Crochet works in progress and the wall required for it. And this wardrobe on the left here, the baskets up the top hold some random stuff that I just don't know where to put them. And uh, inside the wardrobes itself is my yarn collection. It's a bit untidy, I'm sorry, but uh, down the bottom is all 100% wool. The second to bottom is all cotton and the rest of those tubs hold various types of acrylic yarn. And just a few other things there, you know, shopping bags and packaging and stuff that I just don't know where else to put it. It has all been put in there. Now that uh, wardrobe or set of wardrobes that I've got matching here, I actually purchased them from a friend who was selling them. Uh, so a lot of the furniture in this room is second hand. This bookcase here, um, you can see my trolley in front of it as well. That's an Ikea trolley. But this bookcase was actually out on the uh, pavement to be given away uh, at the back of our old house. And my husband came in and told me about it. Um, so I quickly snapped that up because... Uh, we had very tall ceilings at the other house and it fitted in really well and it fits in here very well as well. I'm just going to show you the fireplace to give you a bit of scale. So that's a, a normal sized fireplace and then we've got a picture rail and then above that by quite a bit again is the top where the ceiling is. So very tall walls. I'm not sure exactly. Um, possibly 10 foot. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not well up on things like that. Uh, so this bookcase um, stores all of my colouring books, my art books and other books that I own, plus some um, sketchbooks and supplies. Um, the trolley is holding books that I'm currently working on or wish to work on, uh, pencils that I want to use, the middle shelf has got uh, gel pens, uh, glitter pens, 
but random things that, um, you know, like your acrylic paint pens that you might be using, sharpener, notebooks, um, random stuff. And then in the top part, I have uh, spares of various things as well. I chose to get the top on the trolley because I use that to put my tea or coffee or drink on when I'm uh, working on the couch. So it serves as another sort of spot to sit things on. So I'll just go through what's on that foot case quickly. On the very top there, you can see a knitted doll. She's about 45 years old, I think. My auntie made that for me when I was a child. And on the top shelf, uh, it's books to do with spiritual beliefs, um, self-help, uh, some oracle cards, um, and there are some notebook journal type things up there. The second shelf is housing sketchbooks and the black basket has acrylic uh, paint, like tubes of acrylic paint and some markers. And you might be able to see what my theme is for my uh, ornaments that I collect. Um, you can see we have a bird and we have rabbits and they are a recurring theme and I really like that metal, uh, rusted metal old look. I like old furniture, I like old things. Um, so yeah, I've got a bit of a theme going. So the third and fourth shelves are the colouring books that I own. I have a few more on the trolley there and some in a basket with completed works in, but that's the majority of my collection now is all in one place. And on the bottom shelf, let's just move my trolley out the way. The bottom shelf here houses on the right hand side all uh, art related books, either art instruction or art genres, um, you know, art books or calligraphy. Um, there's some Celtic illumination style books there and on the left hand side uh, there are some more how-to art books books about art collections astrology and on the far left there is some um, coffee table style books that we've picked up from different places where we visited that we want to remember and a couple of big sketchbooks there that I don't have space for anywhere else and then the second to bottom shelf there, uh, left hand side is some more books on how to do mandalas uh, or about mandalas and journaling. The magazine holders there hold um, printed patterns, crochet, book, uh, crochet magazines, knitting magazines, some embroidery books and then uh, more how-to or pattern crochet books. The blue folder is all printed patterns for crochet. The magazine holder there has got some random ephemera. I don't plan to get into that too much and a few things that I can't find homes for anywhere else. So you can see that large uh, jar there came with flowers in and it makes a perfect paintbrush holder. So that uh, wardrobe on the right there houses some tubs with photographs and so on in and some of my son's clothes and stuff from my granddaughter. And the baskets on the top, I've got some spare water-based markers. So as we come to the table, the table was a friend's table. Uh, she sold it to me very cheaply. It's a bit banged up now. There's quite a bit of damage on the surface of it. So my husband and I were thinking we might like to have a go at sanding and restaining the table or painting it if need be. And I'll just see if I can show you through the window here. There is the view that I look out on. That lovely little cottage is um, over 100 years old. And then a not so pretty house there. Um, my neighbour has parked in front of my house. Um, but that cottage is really cute and you can see that they have a lovely um, garden with lots of roses in at the moment. So I sit and look at that is my view. Uh, but it is very bright sitting in front of the window. 
just got myself a new office chair from Ikea which is much more comfortable than this wooden chair I was using but I'm going to keep that if um, Evie joins me she can sit on that. This is an old trolley that just it just holds all va you know various um, stationery items. It's got my acrylic paint markers in here. I've got them to hand. I've also got uh, gel pens, drawing pens, Sakura Koi, my watercolor collection, and I've also got some water soluble oil pastels and chalk pastels in there so all your sort of random stuff paint palettes um, you know adhesive tape all that sort of thing some pots to use for water and a couple of sharpeners pens desk lamp and so on the box on the top is a bit of a surprise for next year but uh, I, I will show that in due course and um, those portfolios hold um, drawing papers, watercolour papers, some of my old artworks. On the wall up here is another one of my artworks. Let's see if I can get it without too much reflection. It would be nice, wouldn't it? So she's a watercolour that I did a couple of years ago. And also on this wall I have another watercolour that I did a few years ago now, so I don't know if I can get it without reflection, so, so that's a watercolour as well. And then we have the day bed that folds out to be a queen size bed. Uh, my daughter's uh, granddaughter's birthday is coming up, so we've got presents stashed under there for her birthday and Christmas. And there's the door as you come in, so that's a, a full tour of the room. If you're not familiar with my story, um, just a quick backstory for you, and we'll try and do this without getting you too dizzy. Uh, this used to be the space that I called Spare Room Studio for a few years, and then my son had to move back home after his relationship broke up. Uh, so this has been his room for a, a number of years now, and I've had all of this stuff in this room stashed in various places around my my house. I've had a lot of stuff in baskets on top of wardrobes. I've had stuff in the TV unit cupboards. I've got as much stuff as I could at any time on that trolley. Um, I've had baskets and boxes under my bed. Um, they've, it, it's been in so many places that I couldn't always put my hand on things easily. <coughs> excuse me so it's really nice to have everything back into this one room now and apart from that trolley which goes into uh, the lounge room the family room wherever I'm working everything stays in this one place now and while it's still a little bit disorganized and I've got things that I need to declutter and um, still sort out and so on um, I think you'll agree um, you know it's nice to see it all in that one place and it's going to be much more convenient to work in this one space with all my stuff. So apart from uh, upgrading some of the furniture um, to match a little bit better, I don't feel like I need any more. I just need to make it more functional and useful. So let me know what you think. Do you think I should get rid of the furniture and just get all matching purpose-built office furniture? Or do you like mismatched old furniture like I've got here? It's all pretty much in the same colour family, so it goes together. And I think with black as the um, extra colour, it's, it's working okay. I need to get a carpet cleaner. Um, I've got one organised to borrow and I need to clean this rug. Um, but other than that, I think the room's coming together quite nicely now. And um, yeah, I will, I'll be back very soon with a colour and chat video for you. 
and um, hopefully now you can see that this is where I am sitting and um, this is where the videos are coming from now. So there you go. So thank you for visiting in the studio with me and I will see you again really soon. Bye now.